Hi, welcome to MVTV. We're coming to you this week on the Caribbean Sea. The sun is just about to set. We're about 35 miles from the Turks and Caicos Islands. And I'm on a cruise. And I've come out with the family at Christmas. And the, this episode, I don't want to talk about the cruise at all. I want to talk about a very... Uh, a great example of uh, sales skills and good process in a retail outlet that actually happened at Manchester Airport when I was on the way out here because I um, got to the airport and I was going to treat myself with a little bit of a present to a new set of headphones. And I thought I might spend maybe 50 quid on a set of headphones. So I went into the um, Dixon store at Manchester Airport with the full intention of spending £50 on some headphones. And uh, I've got that, they've got a big bar, all the headphones all set up, all the different ones, and they start around about 30 quid, and they go all the way up. And I started having a look at them, and not knowing what I'm going to buy. And uh, this guy comes up to me, the uh, uh, shop assistant there in Dixon's, and he um, it suggests I want to listen to you. He said, you got your device there, listen to your own music. So I got my, my iPod out, and he uh, said, well, try these, these, and put those on to me. And then he said, well, what about these set here? And next thing I know, he's got me listening to this uh, big pair of Sennheiser headphones. Well, the sound was fantastic. It was really brilliant. I thought, these are, these are great. I've got to have these. He said, well, they are our top headphones, sir. And I said, well, how much are they? He said, well, they're uh, £295. Now, I didn't want to spend that money on headphones, but he then reminded me of the quality of sound. He said, do you fly off? I said, well, I do fly quite a bit. He said, well, he said, these are brilliant on aircraft because they've got this noise elimination pen. And I thought, that's fantastic. Long story short, he sold me a pair of £300 headphones when I went in to spend 50 quid. But it didn't end there. I wouldn't have got on NBTV if it had ended there. So what happened next, this guy, he's very switched on, only a young guy, so I'm going to tell him, he said, well, because you bought the uh, Sennheiser headphones, so he said, you, uh, you, you qualify for £40 off an iPod. He said, do you need a new iPod? Said, well, I've already got one. I said, but actually, I've got a new car coming in January, I'll need an iPod for the car, so yes, I will, I'll buy an iPod, you know, which one do you want? So, next thing I know, he sold me a nice iPod Touch for 150 quid. So, um, the bill's going up now. Now, £450 I've got spent with him, and I only went in to spend £50. He said, um, this iPod is really great, he said, but um, there's no uh, charge lead comes with this particular um, iPod. Would you like to have a charge lead? I think you should buy one today, because if you buy the charge lead today, he said, you also get for free this little speaker. And at that point, almost in synchronisation, his colleague walks along, plugs this speaker into an iPhone, and it's a really great little portable speaker. He says it's the same price as the uh, power lead, so effectively you buy one, you get the other one for free, he says it's a really great deal. I said, I'll take it. So what had happened here is that within eight or nine minutes going in the store to spend £50 on a uh, set of headphones, this very proficient and very professional sales assistant had effectively taken me for uh, over um, for 450 quid. And um, it was a pleasure to spend it. And I know you'll say, oh, that's all well nice, you can spend that money. Well, yes, I can. But so can other people going to that airport. The reality is most businesses don't make that much effort and put that much which thought into their sales process at Dixon's in Manchester Airport. They did, and it was delivered really well by a really clued up. He wasn't pushy. There was no salesmanship. He just alerted me to what was available, made me aware of the offer and the little things that can be going on, and. Um, and the result was a spend that was kind of like nine times what I'd originally planned to spend there. And that's why I'm telling you about it on MBTV today. Because I want you to think for a moment about what you're doing in your business to maximise the spend from your customers. I know they don't... I, didn't, I did not go in there to spend 450 quid. I went in there to buy a set of headphones for £50. But some good salesmanship, some great offers, really well presented, relieve you of all that money. And it will be the same in your business. Every Every single business in the country is leaving money on the table because the sales process is not sufficiently well thought through or not sufficiently well implemented. And you could do far worse this afternoon, tonight, uh, whenever you're watching this particular recording, to have a little think about your customers when they come into your business. Identify where you're leaving money on the table, make it available to people. Not everybody will buy, but some people will, and it adds mm, hundreds and thousands of pounds to your bottom line. Listen, I'm going to go for my, my regular kind of sunset martini and dinner on the cruise. I'm back next week with another episode of MBTV. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.